Evening everybody, just got to the new camp again. I'm just gonna take one of the walls out and put my canvas tent up. I think this wall here, and I figure I'll just put my tent along here. So I'll get heat from the fire and get to use the bench in front of the tent. Yeah, I just need to remove these logs. <laughs> he is a pro walking across that, eh? Again, second time I've been here now. I had to nash home because I forgot the poles for my tent. Something happens quite often to me. So yeah, as I say, I'm gonna move this wall out. Got my Dutch Army canvas tent up, DPM. It's gonna be nice there, eh? Heat from the fire, enough room to cook on and have access to my bench. Sweet. My uh, foam mat. Right, so that's me, got my foam mat down and my thick wool blanket. I also have my Snug Pack Softy Elite 5 and my Snug Pack Softy blanket. Do me and Tyson tonight. Sleeping bags out. Tyson's already walked on now with his sandy feet look. That's why we can't have nice things. Yeah, you know. So I have a selection of stuff here with me. Water, jet boil, three pot, uh, two pots and my oven. Been a long time since I've had an ov a bit of oven cooking on the go, so I thought I'd, uh, people keep on complaining for it, so I thought I'd give them a, a little bit of action. Yeah. <laughs> I do love this little tent. How much did that sky say I'm gonna rain on you, eh? It's firewood time, I'm all set up now. I'm gonna get some cooking on the go before long. Imagine it's gonna get dark if it's gonna be stormy later on. Guy in all the firewood there. Do you reckon, Tyson? Good one, guy.
That's going to be one snug camp eh, when the storms start. Obviously not when it floods, but we're a bit away from that yet. Hopefully get a night down here before it does. I've been collecting lots of firewood for when it gets dark. And uh, I need lots of hot ashes in here to oven cook like. This is all burnt down a bit. I'm going to section it off here and have no like twigs, just ash underneath the oven. Because that's just like a stock pot. And uh, if you look back on some of my older videos, I used it quite a lot on the side with a shelf in it. So that it's like... It's like that in the fire. Then you put your uh, good stuff on there. Tin foil the front. I don't use the lid of the pan because one, it doesn't stay sealed properly and two, the metal warps at good heat. So I always just use a tin foil. It's going to be my little oven. Hopefully I can force a whole chicken in there. Right, so we've got all the flat hot ash there. I'm going to put a, the oven in. I'm going to put a stone at this side Ooh. to wedge it so it doesn't, doesn't be moving. And I've got my whole chicken here, seasoned, seasoned sexiness. It's going to go in there. Whew. A long time since I've cooked the oven, so it might take uh, a few minutes for us to gauge the temperatures. Sexy. So the chicken is in. As you can see, the pan's on its side with two stones wedging it either side. Tin foil door, and just to keep the heat at an average temperature, I'll just keep on scooping hot ashes. And then I keep one log on the back there, just uh, so that we all know the oven's on gas mark one log and two sticks. <laughs> In this hour there. I get about 200 degrees in that oven in no time. So I've shifted it more to the center of the fire now to get a little bit more heat in it just because I wasn't getting that flush against the rocks because they're not quite hot enough yet but we're still cooking. Some heat in that oven now, eh? Can hear the chicken sizzling. Tyson's just chilling in the tent. We've been on for 50 minutes so far, and the smells coming out of the oven are epic, aren't they, Tyson? You ready for a peek? Oh. What? Sexy chicken. Oh, what? Rusty toasty. Got our largest Pathfinder pot on. Potatoes. Some chives, some parsley, salt and pepper in there also. The chicken is like so close to being done, it's ridiculous. As you notice, my beard's gone. It was driving me mad, itchy and just irritating as hell, so I got rid of it. But it's a good thing, it means I can get close to the fire without singeing my face. <laughs> vegetables in here too. Some carrots, broccoli and baby corn. And again once the potatoes are boiled and they're boiled I'll pour them into there and make the gravy in that pan with all the juice from the bottom of the chicken. Wrap 
rapid boil. My axe is in better days, eh? I'm gonna have to get some new uh, lace for it. Look at that. What? I'm just gonna leave it in there for a second until my until my uh, taters are done. I'm like literally seconds away. Tyson snug up in the sleeping bag. You can probably hear the wind coming in now. It's gonna get a bit rough tonight, I think. I'm expecting rain, but not quite yet. I hope I get my apple pie cooked in time before the rain ruins my pastry. So, hopefully that'll hold the weight of the apple pie. Since I've had an apple pie too, eh? I'm just gonna put that low because it's pastry. And gas mark, a couple of sticks. gonna be my gravy. I'll bring that to the boil and then I'll add the chicken juices. Keep a close eye on this apple pie. Eh? 
like it's so delicate and I do not want to burn it. So that's my chicken. I'm going to cut that bad boy and get it plated up. Mm, that looks skin. <laughs> go <sighs> so windy eh I've already cut off. Oh, look at that. You know that the half Tyson's gravy. Oh, it's a bit thin looking. <laughs> Be fine. Tyson's having for tea. I've uh, picked all the chicken off the bone. I'm just going to let it cool down a bit because it's still piping hot. Oh, you better eat them vegetables. I worked hard on them. <laughs> Getting dark now. I've put the uh, the walls that I took from here. I put behind just as a little windbreak for my tent just because uh, it's getting windyish. You can see. Not be long before it's apple pie time. I've just finished washing all my pots in the stream for Tyson's bowl. Tyson's found another ball, just chewing it on my sleeping bag. Oh, sorry, our sleeping bag. <laughs> just totally pitch black now. You can't even see a sky silhouette. That apple pie is almost done like. That not long, not long, and I'm gonna be eating nice apple pie. This is most definitely it done now. Glove on. Oh, nice. <whistles> Bit split where the apples have been oozing out. Look at that. Pipe and hot. Burning sugar. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. That apple pie was epic. I still got like half of it there. I'm saving it for before bed. It built up the fire a lot. I had some heat into my bones. It started raining quite heavy. You can see the line underneath the chair. I'm all tucked up in my tent. Fire's nice and low. Well guys, inside of my tent, all snuggled up with the dog in the sleeping bag. I'm gonna call it a night. Oh 
all in all, oh, slept really good. I can't be waiting around much longer because the water's starting to rise. Pretty much all around us. I'm gonna pack up and get off this island, eh? Aye, that's me pretty much packed up over there. Just a water bottle and then that's it. I wait for this bad boy to float away. The water's just continuously getting higher. So it's only a matter of time. A day or two of rain and it'll be gone, I think. And that's me off safely. Me and Tyson are gonna head home. Back to the consistency of chocolate milk. Right. Big thanks for watching. We'll catch you all again very soon.
to my local butchers. Right there. Spot on food. <laughs>